Hey there, reality TV fans. It's Max here, back with another juicy update on our favorite stars. Today, we're diving into the world of little people, big world, and the roller coaster of emotions between Amy Roloff, her ex husband Matt, and his fiance Karen Chandler. Buckle up, because it's been quite a ride. The recent news brings us a surprising reunion between Amy, Matt, and Karen at a special event held on the Roloff family's farm. Amy took to Instagram to share a series of photos from a fundraiser she organized for the Dwarf Athletic Association of America, DAAA. It's always heartwarming to see celebrities supporting meaningful causes, and Amy's efforts deserve a round of applause. In the pictures, Amy looked stunning in a blue jean dress, paired with a white vest and boots, rocking her signature short blonde locks. And she wasn't alone. Other family members, including her son Jacob's wife Isabel, were present, capturing sweet moments together. Family unity, despite past differences, is a beautiful sight to behold. The cowboy-themed fundraiser took place inside one of the farm's barns, creating a charming atmosphere. Attendees were seen donning cowboy hats and enjoying scrumptious food at their tables. But what caught everyone's attention was the sight of Matt and Karen fully embracing the theme and joining in on the fun. It's nice to see them all coming together for a good cause. In her heartfelt Instagram caption, Amy expressed her gratitude and acknowledged the teamwork that made the event possible. She gave a special shout out to her husband, Chris Merrick, as well as Matt and Karen for their contributions. It's clear that despite any past disagreements, they were able to put their differences aside and work together for a common goal. Now, if you're a fan of Little People, Big World, you might recall the intense fight between Amy and Matt that unfolded on the show last season. It was an emotional showdown where Amy expressed her disappointment and frustration with Matt's treatment of their sons, Jeremy and Zach, regarding their interest in purchasing the farm. The disagreement resulted in Matt putting the farm up for sale, causing further tension within the family. Amy voiced her concerns about the impact this decision had on their loved ones, emphasizing that it wasn't something that could simply be brushed under the rug. These were deep-rooted issues that needed time to heal. During the show, both Amy and Matt shared their perspectives on the situation. Amy mentioned that things got crazy during their heated discussions about the farm sale and expressed her belief that an agreement could have been reached without resorting to selling. On the other hand, Matt felt attacked and expressed his frustration to Karen, explaining that Amy made her feelings abundantly clear whenever she was upset about something. He clarified that he was only selling a portion of the farm and understood why his family was upset with the decision. However, it seems that time has a way of healing wounds and bringing people back together. Matt eventually took the farm off the market and opted to rent out the main house instead. This decision seemed to have a ripple effect, as Zach and Tori distanced themselves by moving into a new home in Battleground, Washington, and Jeremy and Audrey made their own drastic move by purchasing a property near Roloff Farm. And now, in a surprising twist, we witness Amy, Matt, and Karen reuniting at the family farm for a meaningful event. It's a testament to the power of forgiveness and the ability to come together for a greater cause. It may not be easy, but it's a step towards healing and rebuilding relationships. So, what are your thoughts on this unexpected reunion? Do you believe Amy and Matt can continue moving forward and finding common ground? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more updates on your favorite reality TV stars. Until next time, take care and stay tuned for more exciting news. Bye for now.